Hello and welcome to another episode of Rising from the Ashes. Thank you so much for all the support you've been providing us so far. It's really encouraging and looking forward to doing a lot more videos to help you quit smoking. Um so today we're going to talk about uh, let's say a very important topic which is uh you know what happens and what to expect on day 0 and day 1 by day 0 and day 1 i mean the day when you actually stop smoking you know the first day when you kind of kind of start climbing that big mountain right so in a in a in a big sense you know our quit smoking journey is kind of make or break on this day uh, people over emphasize this day i don't think it's as important but it's quite important in the sense that if you don't if you start smoking again on day 1 you've no you know you've not really reached your target uh so uh so i'll kind of uh, talk about what happens on this day uh, and you know what to expect and you know like what are some of the things to keep in mind from a mental psychological perspective but also some of the physical tricks which you can use to kind of let's say get over this day so i think why do i say day 0 and day 1 it's because you know the day 0 let's say you're going to start quit smoking on saturday morning uh then you know friday night which we'll call day 0 for this purpose is actually the day you quit smoking because you know uh, you already had your sleep you kind of uh, let's say quit smoking for 8 to 12 hours by the time you wake up so in that sense day 0 and day 1 is kind of kind of goes together quite a lot in my earlier video uh, i'll and i'll drop the link uh, in the video i talked about how to prepare for this day you know what are some of the things to th- think about what are some of the considerations Uh if you haven't watched that video please do watch that video before you start get started on this video uh, but to summarize I talked about two three things I talked about you know starting in a time when you are distraction free uh start having some kind of let's say uh entertainment setup so that you know you you kind of are not thinking about smoking all the time speaking to your friends and family that you will be let's say cranky and you know upset and to kind of support you so these are some of the very important considerations to kind of think about before you uh start so please i encourage you to go and see that video first uh but assuming that let's say you kind of got all of that out of the way and let's say tonight is day 0 when you're starting to quit smoking tomorrow this video is really about that uh so i think the first thing to which you should really kind of think about and uh, which you should definitely do is today let's say if today is day 0 and you're having your last smoke uh, once you've had it please to eliminate all of your smoking related uh, let's say stuff like if you're vaping you know physically throw away your vape physically throw away all your fluids you in an environmentally sustainable manner of course uh, physically make sure that you have nothing left when you wake up tomorrow and i why i am saying that is because uh, a lot of our smoking is uh, instinctive we are not even thinking about our smoking uh and quitting smoking is nothing but a journey of uh, your body your mind trying to do something instinctively and you consciously deliberately telling your mind body no we're not going to do that today so uh tomorrow when you wake up i think like every other day the first thing you do go for is go for your vape or go for your cigarette so make sure you don't have any traces of that physically in your house because even if you think you're being clever you hide it whatever you you will subconsciously find it right uh so please to let's say eliminate all physical traces second uh, like i think uh, the most important thing is kind of once you once you wake up and we talked about this a little earlier uh, fr- uh try to kind of let's say uh have a, a plan of action for the day ready like you know you'd watch movies in the morning you'll have a really good lunch and so on uh, that way you have these little things to look forward to which are not smoking uh otherwise you know today your mind is going to be really focusing on hey when is the next smoke coming right uh two more tips and then i'll talk a little bit about the psychology of the first day itself and why it's kind of difficult but also easy so two other tips which i think are very useful for day one uh do get in some exercise because that provides its own kind of form of euphoria endorphins etc so you will kind of let's say during that period uh you know not miss smoking as much though day one is too early for you to get any benefits from not smoking so it would the exercise would be as good as or, or as bad as the day before but at least you are kind of doing something physical you're sweating that's kind of helping eliminate some of the toxins associated with smoking on the day i quit smoking i walked i walked for almost 2 and 1/2 hours i think walked more than 10 15 kilometers 
uh, it did help take my mind off uh, smoking a lot uh, and then and then i kind of adopted walking as my kind of uh, let's say smoking replacement uh, therapy or what do you call it but that is a video for another day uh, i think second thing and you know this is really uh, a very interesting thing is uh, if you have cranberry juice available uh, locally uh, please do kind of uh, get quite a bit of it and you know keep drinking it uh, i will do a separate video on cranberry juice and acidic juices and why it helps eliminate toxins and whether it their hype is really true whether it works or not but it, again it's one of those things which uh, uh, let's say can't uh, hurt right if you when you buy cranberry juice make sure you buy you know pure juice don't have buy kind of juices which have sugar added etc which is you know going to create a different problem which is going to create a sugar spike and all of those associated problems uh so buy cranberry juice uh, generally the accepted kind of uh, let's say norm is uh, when you have high ph which is you know acidic juices they help eliminate the nicotine from your body faster and you know it helps you feel let's say better about the withdrawal earlier again withdrawal i mean maybe it adds 5 10% you know withdrawal is going to be a hard for journey but hopefully this provides some help you know so any any bit of help comes so sure, okay so those are some of the let's say tips you can do itself those are some of the small things you can do on the day, for, day you're quitting uh, but i also want to talk a little bit about you know what is what are some of the mental cues which are going to come about and you know what to kind of expect essentially um day 1 is kind of the most difficult day because that's the day when you're kind of deliberately let's say withdrawing nicotine from your body but it is also compared to some of the other days which are going to come it's much more easier because first there is a euphoria of doing something new right uh you've not uh really uh what do you call it done this before so it's a new sensation and anything new the mind kind of engages with and uh, you know it it is not as difficult second it's not really sunk into your addicted mind yet that you're not you're going to stop giving it nicotine right so to that extent it uh, it just kind of it kind of treats this like when you're going on an airplane or when you're going on a train ride you're not going to smoke for you know i don't know 10 12 hours and smoke is coming back that's what your addicted mind thinks right now uh to that extent going over this day is relatively easier uh but it, it kind of like let's say it, it the mind starts going really crazy on day 2 and day 3 and we'll do a separate video about that uh and i think uh, like and as a final thought uh, ultimately quitting smoking is a journey in saying no many times right and today is the first time you get to really flex your kind of saying no skills today is a day when probably about 50 to 60 times you will kind of be confronted with hey let's smoke and you will say no so uh be aware of how that happens so for example watch out for cues and i'll talk about i'll i'll put on another video on what are cues why is the most important facet in quitting smoking extinguishing cues uh, all of that in a separate video but today on day 1 or day 0 i want you to notice a couple of things i want you to notice how when there are certain scenarios uh, uh let's say uh let's say you're waking up and having a coffee how immediately that kind of creates a cue related to smoking or how if you kind of let's say have come out of a train or a bus or anything at which you when you would normally smoke that you have a cue related to smoking so this will also show you that uh, you know that quitting smoking is not just a physical exercise it's also a psychological exercise because it's so linked to some of these uh, let's say cues but then today just kind of make note today keep saying no uh, ultimately smoking is just saying not today for let's say 90 days and you you are no longer a smoker so today is your first day uh, congratulations on starting the journey uh, uh, please do drop in the comments if you're starting today uh, and you know so that the rest of the community can look at it and benefit uh, please if you like the content uh, please do subscribe below and uh, please any if you have any questions or any comments or if you like the channel or don't like it please do drop your comments below uh thank you and you've been watching rising from the ashes